Hi, East Norton Middle School families. Mr. Hutchinson here. And we're about to show you the importance of attendance and being at school every day, on time, and ready to learn. So uh, parents, we have a goal this year that we want to have 95% of our kids in attendance 90% of the time. So that means students, um, when you uh, aren't feeling super well, or you got to roll out of bed and go downstairs and log into your computer, um, we need you to do that. We need you to check in in homeroom, and we need you to check in each and every period because we have so much to teach you, and we have such a short amount of time. And believe me, this pandemic is nothing any of us wanted, uh, and we're certainly going to make the best of it. So parents, please encourage your son or daughter to get up and get ready for learning each and every day. I hope you uh, enjoy some of the facts we're going to put out here about the importance of attendance. I want to thank all of our teachers uh, for putting this together and also to Mrs. Soul for kind of editing it and making it look so good. So uh, sit back and enjoy these interesting facts about attendance. And let's make sure at East Norton Middle School that we get 95% of our kids at school each and every day, 90% of the time. Make attendance a priority. Set daily routines for younger students, such as a bedtime. And for older, more independent students, such as those in middle school and high school, make sure they understand the importance and the connection between chronic absences and school success. This improves with parent participation for chronically absent students. Absenteeism in the first month of school can predict poor attendance throughout the school year. When students improve their attendance rates, they improve their academic prospects and chances for graduating. Cuando los estudiantes mejoran su asistencia, mejoran sus prospectos académicos y sus posibilidades para graduarse. Chronically absent students are not only missing out on school days and opportunities to learn, but they are also at the greatest risk of falling behind. An estimated 5 million to 7.5 million students miss at least a month of school a year. Half of the students that miss two to four days of school in September go on to miss nearly a month of school. Chronic absenteeism has been linked to reduced student achievement, social disengagement, and feelings of isolation. When students improve their attendance, they improve their academic prospects and chances for graduate. Chronic absenteeism is most commonly defined as missing 10% or more of the school year for any reason, excused or unexcused. Excused and unexcused absences have the same negative effect on academic performance. Regular school attendance patterns encourage the development of other responsible patterns of behavior. Research shows that missing 10% or about 18 days in most school districts negatively affects a student's academic performance. That's just two days a month and that's known as chronic absence. Attendance improves when schools engage students and parents in positive ways and when schools provide mentors for chronically absent students. Over the long term, chronic absenteeism is correlated to increased rates of high school dropout, adverse health outcomes, and poverty in adulthood. Poor attendance can influence whether a child can read proficiently by the end of third grade or be held back. Absenteeism can lead to depression and also result in poor quality of education as a result of time lost while being away from school. Just by being present at school, your child is learning how to be a good citizen by participating in the school community, learning valuable social skills, and developing a broader worldview. Research shows that missing only an average of two days a month negatively affects academic performance. Many classes use lectures, demonstrations, discussions, experiments, and participation as part of the daily learning activities. These cannot be made up by those who are absent. Absenteeism in kindergarten was associated with negative first grade outcomes such as greater absenteeism in subsequent years and lower achievement in reading, math, and general knowledge. Students that live in communities with high levels of poverty are four times more likely to be chronically absent than others. Oftentimes, this is a result of things that are beyond their control, such as unstable housing, lack of access to transportation, and lack of access to quality health care.